Hi, welcome back to Missing Chemistry. This is an electronic configuration of lead PB lesson. Okay, lead happens to be element number 82 on the periodic table. So we're going to write an 82 here. And it happens to be for atomic massing is 207. So that tells me that since the atomic number is 82, we have 82 protons. Since it's electrically neutral, we have to have 82 electrons. Now neutrons is the atomic mass unit, which is 207 minus 82. And that would give me 125 neutrons. Okie dokie. That's how it's two electrons. P has six electrons, D can hold 10, and F can hold 14. And we'll start here at the top of the diagonal rule. And we're going to follow down these orange arrows until we run out of electrons. And remember, we're doing the off ball principle where we're filling the lower shells first before we fill the upper shells. Okay, pretty simple, straightforward. How many electrons we got to use? 82. So we got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3p10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, and 6p2. Pretty darn snarl. Okay, now Hun's rule deals with orbital notation. It's an up arrow, put it down arrow in the suborbit, and let's go for it. And we got to do this for 82 electrons. Up arrow, down arrow. Remember the up arrow is clockwise rotation electron, down arrow is counterclockwise rotation electron. Up, 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 and then it goes down, down, down. That's classic Hun's right there. there you go. And now we just got to go through the long process of doing these errors. That's why it's good to kind of put kind of like uh, this thing I got typed out underneath. Makes it a lot simpler. Well, we're already up to the 5S. We're doing pretty darn good. On going. Take care of every suborbit first. Okay, now we're going to use noble gas notation, which is a shortcut. Here's noble gas to lead is xenon, not radon, because it's after it. Xeon right there. So we're going to do this numerically in order. Okay, then we're going to go to 5d10. Uh, then we're going to 6s2. And then 6p2. The last but not least is poly exclusionary principle. It's in the p block. So it's in the 6 period. So it'd be 6. And then 1. Then it's going to be 0. And then it's going to be 1 half positive. <clears throat> the last arrow is going up. And that's it. You guys be starly, and we'll see you back here at Moussine Chemistry.